Welcome to another chemical demonstration, everyone, where today it's going to be a model volcano. Now, most of the time when you think of a model volcano, you either think of a volcano made with elephant toothpaste or a baking soda vinegar volcano that uh, almost anyone can do and with no problem at home, and they can see isn't really something that looks like a volcano. Well, today, this volcano will be something much different than, than any of those options. The demonstration that I have here is an ammonium dichromate volcano, which is arguably a much more realistic volcano demonstration that someone can do. But here's where I should put a bit of a warning about this video. Ammonium dichromate is a fairly dangerous chemical. It can cause it can cause skin burns, it can be very poisonous if it is ingested, and it is not the type of thing you want to be just lying around. Fortunately, this reaction decomposes it, but you shouldn't repeat this demonstration on the scales that I did in this video. I plan to make in the future a version that you can do at home, but until I do that, do not try this at home. Now, we did this reaction with numerous safety features. We had shields to try to make sure that the chromium oxide didn't go everywhere because chromium oxide is an irritant and it can cause some skin burns if it gets on your skin. Um, we had aluminum foil beneath the dichromate itself so that it wouldn't get anywhere else and we built up a mountain beneath it so it would look more like a volcano. This footage may not be of best quality but it was about to start raining and we had to get it done fast because ammonium dichromate would not have done well if it had been raining. Isaac, would you knock on that door? Let's go! Before I start this demonstration and struggle with these getting these gloves on, I'd like to say that notice all the safety procedures that I am taking because it, uh, this, this chemical that I'm working with, ammonium dichromate, is, is fairly dangerous. Uh, as you can see um, here, I am going to um, load the ammonium dichromate onto this uh, aluminum foil here. <laughs> Alright, and then, and after I do that, I'm going to take this lighter here, and wait. They might be in the middle of something, actually. It's only going to get wetter. Okay, I'm going to light it on fire, and you'll see... Uh, this is more perpendicular, not straight up and down. Is it explosive? It's no, it's not explosive. It's going to be hard to get a place where they're not straight up and down. This is been before that much. I guess so. I guess so. Oh, it's... Yeah. Put your hand over it because there's rain. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, is it Pharaoh's uh, snake thing? Oh, so me! Whoa! We get a pretty cool volcano oh, here. I should not have inhaled that. <laughs> is this ash? Oh my god, it's like that a tornado. Ash is chromium oxide. It is poisonous, dog. <laughs> what happens if you touch it? So, as you can see, it's creating a pretty cool volcano here, and the ammonium dichromate is uh, decomposing into um, chromium oxide, which is the ash that you can see, and water vapor and nitrogen. Is it over? Uh, yeah, the reaction is over. You can stop the... Now I will explain exactly what's happening in this reaction, and if you don't like sci the science behind these things, please don't click away from this video because it's actually something pretty interesting. But for those of you who want to just watch a video of a chemical volcano and 
be amazed. Speed ahead in the video to right about here, and I'll start explaining the science of it. So this reaction is the decomposition of ammonium dichromate, meaning that there is only one initial reactant, and once it is heated up enough, it breaks apart into several other things, and in this case, the products are nitrogen gas, water vapor, and chromium oxide, which um, there is a fairly complicated bit of redox going on in this reaction, and it can be used to demonstrate various things in chemistry. The chromium in the ammonium dichromate will be being reduced from its plus 6 to a plus 3 oxidation state as it goes from being a dichromate ion to being a chromium plus 3 ion in a chromium oxide compound. Everything else in this chemical is basically just being reconfigured. In the ammonium ions, which, of which there are two, the oxygen that is left over from forming the chromium oxide is bonding to those hydrogens and, and taking them away from the two nitrogens, and the nitrogens are bonding together to form N2 nitrogen gas. Now an explanation of what you'll be seeing in the rest of this video goes something like this. The water vapor and nitrogen are both gases, and when they form underneath the chromium oxide, they will exert an upward force on the chromium oxide, which throws chromium oxide ash outwards, and it will be thrown out and create the volcano. Now, it is in the shape of a cone. The pile of ammonium dichromate is in the shape of a cone, so it will start at the top, move down the sides, and, and you will be able to see that the that the sparks move from the top down the sides and then back towards the center and that's because of the cone shape. The reaction starts and as the top decomposes it spreads out more to the sides but the center is still left over unreacted and continues to react until the reaction's done. This is a good demonstration of reaction rates and and how the surface area and the way the surface is built can affect the rate of a reaction. So this is the product of the reaction. Hopefully we'll be able to clean this up, but as you can see, pretty cool crater here, and my white balance was a bit off throughout this video, perhaps, but um, yeah, hopefully this won't get everywhere, and hopefully we can clean it up well enough. Fortunately, this stuff isn't as dangerous as the original reactant, but yeah, it was a fun demonstration, and I still have some more uh, ammonium dichromate here, so yeah, went pretty cool, and I'm hoping I can do that again sometime in the future. And do it again, we did. A few days later, I went to Mr. Ritchie's classroom, and we set it up to, to do the demonstration again, and this was the result. We have here a lighter, the ammonium dichromate. Start the reaction. You might want to get a bit closer. Okay? Yeah. It's probably good. You can zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. The chemical volcano is started. <laughs> oh shoot. Whoa. Okay, that's a lot of ash this time. <laughs> No, chromium oxide is an irritant that it's, yeah, it's not good to get chromium oxide on to you. Alright, yeah, that's...
I will eventually make a version of this that you can do at home, but until then, this reaction is not safe for you to do at home unless you have read a lot on the actual process that is going on here. Watching this video isn't enough to make to go out and do it at home yourself. Do proper research before doing this demonstration yourself. It is important because you can get serious harm from doing it yourself. This is the end of the video, and hopefully you will please consider subscribing, and stay tuned for more science demonstrations.